I'm Mike Sorensen from California Pools. I manage the San Gabriel office. One of the most common questions that customers ask as they're preparing to build a pool is how deep they should make the shallow and the deep ends of their pools. Often their uh, considerations are based on what they perceived in the past, pools that they had used with their parents or other friends that they always thought were nine and 10 feet deep. We've come to a construction site today where a pool is partway finished that we can walk down inside the pool. We've strung a roll of caution tape along the water line of the pool to help illustrate how these depths work, how the floor works in a pool. The pool we're at starts at three feet deep at the shallow end. It can be seen that three feet is ample depth in the shallow end for people to swim properly and yet still have a shallow enough floor that the games that are played in a pool, such as volleyball and chicken fights and things like that, can all happen properly. Sometimes people will add a reef step to the pool, a large area that's going to be in very shallow water where they can bask on a lawn chair or they can let their toddlers play. As we make our way along the length of this pool, the length of the pool has a great difference on how the floor of the pool is affected. We're about halfway down the length of this pool now and we're standing in what would be four feet of water. At some point, the shallow end begins its break for the deep end of the pool. We don't want that break to be too steep. We don't want toddlers or non-swimmers to be working their way along the floor and suddenly reach a steep angle in the floor that they can't control. The deeper pools will have a steeper break, but that can be helped by the length of the pool. This pool is seven feet deep, so at the deep end, that gives enough depth that um, people can dive safely, cannonballs, all the things that we want to do in the deep end of a pool, swim to the bottom to pick up things off the bottom, all of that uh, can work properly in seven feet of depth. To give another perspective, we've come to a second construction site, a pool that's deeper than the first pool we visited. This pool starts at the same depth at the shallow end, three feet. But it can be seen as this pool reaches to the far end of the pool to a depth of eight and a half feet, that the transition from the shallow end to the deep end becomes much steeper and drops off quicker. Once a pool has reached its finished depth of eight and a half feet, this provides ample area for use of things like diving boards, deep water swimming, and some of the deep water games that are played in pools. Customers will find very useful to have love seats and benches along the deep end so that non-swimmers or children that are getting tired have places to rest. Deeper pools work okay when a pool is big enough to support the changes in depth that occur from the shallow end to the deep end. But a deeper pool and a shorter pool makes that shallow end a lot smaller than it needs to be for general family use. There are a number of factors that need to be considered as a pool is being constructed. One of the most important is the depth of the pool. We can see that some families will want to have more shallow end where others want to have a big deep end. It's important that those considerations be made in advance. Think a little bit about how you will use your pool and ask advice from your pool builder what he would recommend in the design of not only the shape of your pool, but also the floor contours.